Thank you.
Looking to get into competitive virtual reality gaming? Register and compete for free at VRMasterLeague.com. Join hundreds of community members in the official Discord, where you can find a team, discuss a game, and more. Every week, teams from across the globe play for the chance to participate in the end of season championship tournament for prizes from league sponsors, ProTube VR, and VR Cover. Think you got what it takes? Join VR Master League and find out. Sickness getting dangerously close to objective though. He is going for the plant. Operator taking shots. They know he's okay. back by the objective room. Keeble's not, does have no idea if Beasley managed to get past him. It's gonna be a 3v3 for beginners. But this is catastrophic Raphael. for Raphael, right? Soul will defend the hill. Oh to the map. God, he look at down, this. Kills on him. He did it! He did it! He's getting greedy! Is he gonna get it? He gets it! He gets the knife! A grenade returning for Sir L and Sir L is down! That's how you wow. throw a grenade. You hear someone here. He, he hears Scooby. He hears Scooby. He got Scooby. Another one coming. Oh, operator. He got Operator. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was too close. Oh my gosh. Too Teamwork, they're all pushing together, all working in unison. Now we only have one Fog player left on the garage. It's Vicky Smalls. He has to survive. He can't kill for kill right now because there are two mass up players. He has to survive this. He has 10 seconds remaining. Don't peek, Vicky Smalls. Stay there. Seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds. Sled moving out. Vicky Smalls moving back to the garage. Two, one. Wow. Absolutely incredible stuff. Interesting play by Kev right here on the uh, on this wall. He almost turned the corner. I don't know if he heard Mad Eyes, but he is now peeking. He's trying to see if he can see anybody on these boxes. Mad Eyes is in the perfect position. I don't think Kev can see him. Mad Eyes is just waiting. Mad Eyes lets Kev walk all the way across. Did he not see him? Centaurian now walking front. Mad Eyes takes out Centaurian. Turf six. What a play. Yeah, this is not looking good for Danglers here. That's just tactical using their momentum. Using their momentum. 
Home kick on top of Stumpy, probably throwing him off. Sickness tossing a smoke. A nice grenade! Stumpy snagging three! Completely shutting down their approach. Killinger going up to the second floor. If they're not careful though, Gag's gonna be able to shoot through the window. Killinger is exposing himself almost slightly and taken out. That's all it takes. If a hand is barely exposed, he's gonna be down and out for a counter. And he gets, oh man, Gag has put in some work. So the stairwell. The smoke's coming in. The global camp trademark smoke penetration tactic. They're gonna get you lit. They're gonna get you buzzing. And they're gonna come in hard. Can Phoenix hold them off? To topple the top dog of the U.S. Thunderpilot sit stocking up with Jizzy Pants on the corner. Out come the hand signals. And, and no rejection. He does not want to kiss. But Jizzy making a run for the cross the southern turnstiles. Smithy sitting on the corner of the of the L room. Fry's going in. Thunderpilot rushing in. And oh, Smithy tags him with the SKS at close range. Meanwhile, Jizzy looking for a kill. Tags. Officer Statham. Maldo looks for Jizzy. Doesn't catch him. Jizzy moving in. And oh, straight around the corner. Jizzy not finding his target. Maldo immediately falling back. Maldo looking for Otto. Jizzy takes him out though. Smithy about to look at Jizzy's hands. And Smithy does take Jizzy's hands. Otto meanwhile looking for a free frag on Jizzy. Not funny. One on one. Oh, it's a trade versus Otto. Alright, it looks like we are still waiting on them f to make the lobby. They've forgotten spectator slots a few times now. So hopefully they uh, don't forget this last final time. I appear to be in a lobby with two people in it. This is an improvement. So sorry I uh, have to watch those uh, bumpers for the billionth time. But we should hopefully now be getting ready. Yes, it appears that we are now properly into this lobby. So, this match uh, here today coming up the same time as uh, G-Men vs Mob Squad. That's going to be an exciting match to watch. So if you are also watching uh, that one, make sure to uh, pay attention to that. Discord messages. Quickly bash this all together, all the team names, Legionnaires. We've got some really cracking teams uh, tonight, or rather this morning. We've got Magnificent Bastards, uh, I think they've been around since the start of Season 3, I believe. They've done reasonably well. And here comes Legionnaires in with Mad Scientist and DMT. Both very good players, I will swap you over to the gameplay in a minute. Needless to say, this uh, particular match has been a little bit of a mess. I'm going to sort out the... Uh... Oh dear, the scoreboard. It's gone backwards. It's currently the scoreboard is unfortunately... broken. This is also not in too good of a shape. But there we go. I can now edit that as I please. All problems resolved. Life's good. Bring you to the uh, desktop audio so you can hear the, the serene sounds of Onward. Gunfire and wind on downfall. So that's going to be our first map for today. There we go. I'm uh, currently not sure what the bands are. It appears they are discussing them now. Yeah, it seems like they're going to figure out just in the lobby here while they wait for the rest of the players. Hopefully Downfall doesn't get banned so we don't have to restart again. That would be painful to say the least. 
Just quickly turn off this controller so it doesn't run out of battery. Here we go. Piss with though, only two members of each team have joined. We're still waiting on uh, pretty much the entire team on both sides, so maybe the brains behind the operations here. DMT's the shadow captain, trying to figure out what the bands are before they uh, pile everyone into the same lobby. That's always a possibility. Let's see what's uh, going on in team chat if they're talking to each other. Appears not. Right. So while we are uh, waiting for everyone to pile in, I will just uh, pee over to intermission for a few minutes. Probably three minutes max. So don't worry, don't go anywhere. And we will uh, head in game then. So I will see you soon. Though unfortunately you couldn't hear just there, you could hear Captain roll in with his uh, sound effects. Unfortunately I had the uh, game audio muted so you didn't hear that lovely audio bite. But uh, all the team, well almost all of the uh, team members, one just left from uh, Magnificent Bastard's side, have uh, piled into this one lobby so I assume it is going to be downfall that they're going to be playing tonight. For the first map. Still, it looks like we're waiting on one player. I'm uh, not sure who it is. They were in just a minute ago, maybe having some uh, last minute tactical difficulties. Hopefully, we don't get another two and a half hour match due to technical difficulties during the match. Pretty much after every map, we have to spend 20 minutes waiting to get the things fixed. And another member has left. This is not encouraging me. Oh dear. Let's hope no more leave. Don't want to be rehosting now. Looks like just some helmets being taken off, put back on again on the Legionnaire's side. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Anyway, let's see what objective we're going to get for this uh, first round of the first map as uh, downfall. Almost that bizarre. It's going to be a North Crater objective. Quite a dangerous objective to uh, defend here if they get a northeast spawn. For both sides, really, it's quite uh, easy to come down from this hill through the red truck and over towards the objective with plenty of smoke to cover and uh, get the cap off. But it's pretty dangerous to make that climb down if you let someone uh, control the northwest from this wall here. They can get a nice tight angle onto the. Uh, red truck through this tiny little gap I gotta say the hitboxes on this wall are not friendly they are very hard to shoot people behind them and it looks like my oldest and boss is actually getting subs in Stereo and uh, I believe another player having to drop out for unknown reasons Hopefully nothing major, maybe they'll pop in uh, later on in the match, we don't know, we'll see. I will check 
the Discord, see if there's been any news. It appears not. So maybe they uh, needed him from the start, and one of them is just uh, waiting to reconnect. That is a possibility. <laughs> they might take you up on that offer, Smithy. They might take you up on the offer. Hopefully they don't see the Twitch chat here. We've got chat pulled up now so I can uh, figure out if there are any issues without having to uh, tab out. Pull that over there. There we go. Let's see what they're saying in uh, chat here. I love we'll smart talk. Zero fucks about logical. So this is the not so, not safe for work broadcast, right? If uh, <laughs> the yeah, yeah, Master yeah. League. <laughs> Are we censoring this? I one? think I tuned in at the wrong time to your team chats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm believing now. <laughs> All right. Looks like we are still waiting on that final member. I'm not sure who it is. I might have to check the uh, who the uh, roster of Mag Magnificent Bastards is, but I don't think I can uh, do without do that without changing things too much. So we'll keep it like this. We'll just hope things don't collapse on me. And you better get used to that intermission because you're going to be uh, seeing it a lot, I imagine, from. Uh, for this match, because I don't have another person to talk to. I haven't done a solo cast in a while. It's going to be all solo. Oh dear, Plenus has dropped. And joined Magnificent Bastards. Clearly trying to uh, see some tactics they've got on the board. <laughs> And it looks like they're all piling out, probably trying to join Legionnaires, but unfortunately they don't make it in time. So they unfortunately have to put their Magnificent Bathers Master Helmets back on. But wow, this is taking some time. Let's uh, check what the time is here. Careful, let's drop my phone. 16 minutes past. 16 minutes past 2 in the morning. Let's pray they do not alter the timetable any further. Let's ask see if there are any the issues. Is got any issues? <laughs> got dick. <laughs> That's what I was like, um... <laughs> Probably not a great idea to tune in there. But it seems that, uh... I'm not really sure, I don't believe. Maybe they're one of them DC'd, having some server issues, not able to join back. But it doesn't appear to be rostering issues with like times or sun unavailability or anything like that. But Sri Lanka suddenly vanished, so maybe they needed him, maybe now they don't. Very shaky here. Looks like Sri Lankan is back into the game now. They're in, out, they're all about. They're not sure what they want to do. Who is this final phantom member of uh, Magnificent Bastards here? So I will tell them they won't. Disappointingly slow here. In the meantime, I might have to just throw you to an intermission back to back, as there is no movement on the Marsalk side. I may regret this, but let's pop it to Team Comms just one more time. Oh 
I'm not quite sure if I regret that or not. I'm just going to forget it. So I will throw to the intermission now and pray that they are faster. See you then. Appears that they're, be, uh, they're going to <coughs> they're going to give Legion, uh, Legionnaires going to give magnificent bastards five more minutes before they start the match. One of their guys is very late, it seems. So we will be live in at most five minutes. They might stop before that. I hope they do. Appears that the uh, fifth member of Magnificent Bastards Stereo is having issues with uh, the anti cheat. He's uh, tried repairing it both. I've oh got the loud. Uh, both of the 
game executable still doesn't work so unfortunately he's uh, not going to be able to show up it seems. Well, we should be starting in about 2-3 minutes now. Though I am managing to entertain myself listening to uh, Captain's rather inane uh, communications there. He's trying to get a uh, fifth reservist in here, but it appears they're having some issues. They might try and get Zach Fontaine in, recently left uh, Stoke Old Killers. But they are very late now. I imagine Legionnaires is rearing to go. Hopefully starting in two to three minutes. It's gonna be two to three minutes forever. You better get used to it. No. All right, now we are finally starting. Uh, Magnificent Bastards has unfortunately decided, to, oh, not really unfortunately, they decided to start with 4v5 as it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get their fifth player. So as I said about 10 minutes ago now, maybe 15 minutes ago, it's at a North Crater objective to start off with, with an East Spawn. This is quite dangerous for anyone trying to move to uh, bungalows or heli here but it doesn't appear they're going to be doing that they're going to sit back nice and uh, cosy yeah it looks like uh, Magnificent Bass is sending one to the north, one straight through and two going to the south pretty standard, I imagine if they had all five they'd send two north, two south, one through the middle but their plans have been rather thwarted by uh, the lack of their Stereo because of anti cheat issues. But they're keeping a nice spread here. A little bit uh, spooked by this. Quite aggressive. Well, these are quite passive. They're sitting quite far back, except for maybe this guy. That's a pretty reasonable position, as well as this guy. But they're keeping nice, relatively equal separation for all four players here. And we're seeing Night Fury's uh, spot. I believe we saw this in the uh, championship. Night Fury lying down here, under here, uh, under the uh, 
next to the objective, there you go. Looking through this really tight angle through the doorway. I believe he was using a FAMAS during the championship instead of an AK from the looks of it. And Playlist has already spotted, uh, I believe that's logical in the two-story, yes it is. I'm surprised logical uh, didn't at least take some pot shots. And I've not seen this before and I didn't see it earlier. They put two in Crater. First and second floor. No way to smoke that out. I don't think they'll be expecting that. And Kitten Mittens. I believe he's a very uh, recent player to the league. He was the winner of one of the Oculuses from uh, the ESL Invitational. They gave uh, out thanks to Stack Up and Oculus. I believe it was two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now. Kit and Mittens was one of the winners. He joined the league shortly after and now plays for Legionnaires. I mean, I'm getting a very uh, calm push at 3.30 from Captain and uh, who's this over here? Sri Lankan from the southeast. Still playing really passively there. Only a very tight defense and this smoke. I don't think it went nearly as far as uh, Captain was hoping it would be. They're holding their angles and shots are going to come out. I'm not sure who towards. I believe it's Captain. Yeah, Captain has been hit by Plenus here. A very nice shot. Unfortunately, he doesn't manage to get the kill. He's just down. Uh, just damaged, rather. Yeah, he's lying down here. Maybe Plinus thinks he's got that uh, down, down for Legionnaires, but they haven't. And we are going to see this zero uh, fuck seven and logical push through the uh, northeast and east side here. But if they try and push the objective, they're going to get seriously uh, s stopped in their tracks by uh, Kit and Mittens and Plinus over in that second. Not Plinus. Kit and Mittens and DMT from the crater building. Captain and Sri Lankan sure are taking the time. Two minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock. And Zero Fox is going to try and cross this here. Is Kitterman just going to peek and see him? He hasn't peeked yet. He's holding quite a tight angle. If he gets to this objective wall, he's going to peek for sure. Along with DMT. Yeah, and Kitterman does peek and takes down Zero Fox. Quite a lonely push up to objective. Two minutes left. Sri Lankan still sitting back at South Bungalow. And Captain was picked at some point by uh, Plinus. Not sure how he got picked around the uh, picked around the corner, but he did. And Logical is pushing up with his 12 times sniper. I believe that's the M16 pushing up through the red truck area. I'm not sure if he knows there's two in that crater building. Even if he manages to pick one, there's still someone to back him up. And Polinus might see his gun poke around this window here. That is dangerous for uh, Logical here. Looks like Trillinger has finally decided to uh, rotate around and move up to the red truck. I think Magnificent Barter has a rather clear approach if they come around crater here. As long as they uh, put some smoke on the objective so Plinus can't see them, they should be able to uh, flank around here. And Plinus does put some shots over towards the red truck. They don't see uh, Sri Lanka, they try to push up, it's taken up by DMT. Logical tries to return fire. Doesn't work though, Plinus picks window and takes down Logical. Very clean round, 5v4, all of these is still up. Now I have to do the fun game of this strangeness. The uh, Legion has won that. There you go. You can see the one there. Hopefully the scoreboard fixed ASAP. That'll be great. And there is the other map. 
well the other scoreboard rather the um, clean entire screen scoreboard might use that just as a complete replacement I'm not sure honestly much cleaner having the uh, uh, what's it called the score number linked at uh, linked in text at the top and stereos returns from the dead he's managed to get things working again it seems so this is looking good for millions of bastards now much better than before they're going to be on Volk I want to see if uh, Magnificent Bastards can pull, uh, pull this off now 5v5 instead of 4v5 and the round is going to be starting now that right side should should hopefully be the uh, correct one I'm using studio mode haven't used it many times before so hopefully I uh, don't accidentally have the wrong thing selected I see what Legionnaires is thinking across the map here. They might still see us, I don't know. They might, but it's not Globo Chem, so maybe they won't. <laughs> True. Some chuckles coming out. Thinking about how they might be seeing an aggressive push up to the uh, heli here from Captain. Almost getting burnt by the fire. And he's rushing up straight through. No regard for his own safety here. Goes straight to South Bungalow. Doesn't care if he's seen from the rage, which I believe Plenus did, uh, DMT rather, did see him. See if Plenus is looking over there. Plenus is definitely looking over there. They know he's in there. But the question is, are they going to be able, uh, be able to do anything about it? Sending two people to North Hotel, that's pretty risky to uh, send to there it's, it's really hard to get down from there if they have just one guy watching that uh, approach down here god oh god it's bugged out help there we go yeah, if they just have one guy approaching from the uh... oh never mind they don't even need to come down mad scientist one tapped with a sniper by logical from the uh, ice cream truck Real nice shot here. And we are going to see Plenus peek this corner and take down the captain. Shot him straight in the back. He's going to go finish off that corpse with his knife. I've got to say, that was a. It might have been stereo actually with that uh, one tap here. No, definitely the wrong gun sound. It must have been logical. It was indeed logical. The only kill for Legionnaires. Uh, Magnificent Bastards, rather. And Stereo in a really good position here to make sure Plenus, or rather DMT, I'm getting these names mixed up, or rather it's not either, it's Night Fury. In a pretty good spot to make sure he can never get down from here. And Logical can keep that east side cover, just lock him into that building. As long as he doesn't uh, use a bunch of smokes, should be uh, nice and clean, ready to go. Zero Fox has seen this by that uh, north bungalow wall just at the APC Burn some shots over doesn't appear to have much effect though and those two members of legionnaires are rapidly approaching from the south see what logical is watching here not sure what logical is doing but he's definitely the sniper that's for sure and DMT is going to take this center hotel Second floor might be able to uh, see Zero Fox, actually he won't. I believe that, yeah it was, uh, Nitro tried to move down and was just completely destroyed by the firing line of Sri Lankan and Stereo from their respective positions. Uh, I wonder if they know that they're in the uh, central hotel, judging by how liberally Zero Fox is using his gun here. I'm not sure if he does. He's peeking those windows pretty bravely.
And the empty and Kitten are going to try and push out of the centre hotel here. Just taking little peeks over the corners. Cleanest tries to move out with that uh, APC. Mowed down by the LMG by Zero Fox though. And I believe another went down. No. But it's not. It's just Cleanus. And Zero Fox is going to pick this quite dangerous angle for Kitten Mittens here. But Kitten knows he's there. Just looking over where he's shot, he's not really sure what's going on. Ah, and DMT did try to rush the objective. 4v2 though, not a great idea. Does get taken down rushing it. All up to Kitten Mittens here, just on this centre hotel. I'm not sure he's going to be able to pull this off here, if he does will be one for the books. Dragon's just going to be sitting on this objective waiting for Kitten Mittens to try and rush it. They've got no reason to peek here. They can stay just knife and safe and Kitten Mittens is going to push out now. Crouching like this he might not be seen by Sri Lankan and the others. Just got behind the rock in time before Sri Lankan peaked. He gets his tablet out. Sri Lankan must have heard that. It's going to be ready. Ketterman is sneaking up for the cap. Oh my god, he's at the rock canal. Nobody sees him. Sri Lankan, if you just peek up around this wall, you'll be able to take him down. Logical sees him in the open. Tries to go for the pistol. <laughs> Zero Fox and Sri Lankan both come out of their hiding spots and try to take him down. Very close there. He definitely could have got that cap there, Night Fury. Uh, not Night Fury, Kit Mittens. Just a little bit faster, maybe some uh, distractory smoke to uh, Zero Fox on the other side of the map. Might have helped her. Let's just quickly alter the score here. There we go. And transition, there we go. Unfortunately, it's only the left one. Maybe I don't need that one. That'll be fine then. Hopefully it doesn't break for both of them. That'd be great. Bring up the scoreboard here just for a minute. This round is going to be starting now. Hop back to our gameplay here. And it's going to be another North objective. I believe this is the third one in a row now. Well, second in a row in terms of uh, RNG. Third in a row in terms of uh, just raw how many times it's been there per round. Almost feels like it's uh, got more common. I had the same issue in uh, a league match just earlier today. Getting lots of uh, the same objectives in a row. Pretty brutal. So I wonder how uh, Magnificent Bastard Legion is going to adapt to this. The early shots are coming out from Plenus on the uh, second floor here. <laughs> uh, clearly some uh, loadout problems here. Plenus having to take a PKM instead of a rifle as the other slots had been taken. And they do have a sniper on Magnificent Bastard's side. That could be a serious threat here. To the uh, outcome of this round. Lots of pre-fire coming out over towards uh, Plenus here. Magnificent Bastard might try and ple uh, peak Plenus. Peak Plenus from the uh, Central Hotel roof here. But it'll be a risky move. And he's going to be sneaking up to this uh, roof now. Got to be careful not to peek his head out too much. My mate Zero Fox hasn't been shot here. I would have thought there'd been an angle from the uh, crater building, but apparently not. 
it looks like we are seeing the exact same positions as last time. So uh, they might predict where they're going to be, throw some preemptive nades, plenty of pre-fire here. But they don't know that Night Fury is going to be on that first floor. Maybe they know there's two in the crater bear. We're not sure. Captain is going to be peeking this. Hopefully, Plinus doesn't see him. I don't work out. Plinus almost peeks there. <laughs> that would have been bad. Bad scientist not peeking his head at all. Captain unable to see it. Actually, Mad Scientist has seen Captain, I believe. Yeah, he has seen him and he called it in. Allow please to get the shots over to the roof instead of him. So he can get some uh, nice shots if he peeks his head a little bit more. Captain Team killing if uh, over towards the red truck onto Zero Fox. That's unfortunate. Here he lies having been shot by Captain from the Centre Hotel roof. Not a good start for uh, Magnificent Bastards here. And Logical is going to be pushing to the uh, West Bungalow here. That's going to be a very risky move with where Mad Scientist is. Mad Scientist opens fire on... Uh, Whatever his name is, Logical here takes him down. Not sure how or when Stereo went down. Appears he tried to cross Central Hotel and was taken down, but Captain does get a very nice return fire burst onto Mad Scientist's head. And I imagine that uh, Zero Fox over there is going to be giving out a lot of info as much as he can see. I don't think Captain knows he based the headshot, uh, Mad Scientist. Uh, Captain is taken down by Plinus from the second story. Perhaps forgetting he was there or uh, thinking he was safe. Yeah. Legion is uh, confused with the number of kills. Lanky getting some nice cover fight as he moves up. Dropping his gun in the process. Okay, he's going to be trying to uh, solo this alone. Well, I'm not sure it's going to be a. Uh, it's, it's going to be an uphill battle for him. Maybe if he goes along the west road, nice and stealthy, he might be able to uh, get past players, get around them, and uh, take a few down before he gets shot. But it appears he's going on the roof, trying to take down players through the window first before he moves up. But he doesn't have much time. Only 80 seconds left in the match. In the map, rather. In the map round. He's checking his tablet right out in the open, standing up. That's pretty risky. <laughs> and I think Sri Lankan just went to double tap Zero Fox's body. Checks his tablet afterwards. <laughs> Clearly not very concerned. Plainest, not really wanting to peek this until now. Shrekin almost makes it to the helicopter. But he's unfortunately killed. Making that uh, 2 to 1 to Legionnaires. There we go, that is updated now, nice and clean. Though still slightly a mess. Plinus here really leading his team with the 4 1 score here. Taking up most of the rounds, uh, most of the rounds, most of the uh, kills this map so far. I wonder if that's going to be a uh, thing we're going to keep seeing more of. Plinus is a good player. We're discussing uh, a few tactics here on the whiteboard. Before the uh, round starts, let's hop on over to the gameplay again. Here we go, the round is starting. And of course it's going to be another North Crater objective as they uh, swapped sides. It's the same objective. 
see what Magnificent Pass is thinking. Yeah, it appears they were using the whiteboard to communicate a bit. Trying to cross here, this could be brutal. Magnificent bastards. Lichia is going to peek over there and just take all of them down as they try to cross. This is bad for Lichia. Uh, this is bad for Magnificent bastards if they peek it. It appears they do peek it. Take down Captain. Take down Stereo. A confirmed kill and a down within the first 20 seconds. Make that two confirmed kills. Nice uh, shots from Legionnaires over there. I believe that was, uh, yeah, DMT and Mad Scientist. That was all their work. And also, I think one from Kitten Mittens. And I wonder if Logical is sniping again. He did some pretty nice shots over to the North Hotel. And it looks like he's using a tar instead. Interesting choice, an SMG. Quite close range for a uh, downfall. Thought he got someone there, but apparently not. Looks like it's going to be a, uh, another standard 2 1 2 split. One going through the east, two going south, and two going north. And if they go through the south silently, get some nice distractions on the north, they could do some serious damage with all of Magnificent Bastard looking towards the northeast. They might be able to pick off uh, Zero Fox here through the window. Being quite risky. Peek in the window. Even holding this angle, you can be shot. It's pretty brutal. It's happened to me. Never come within a meter of a window if you're playing against Arsenic. Still not much uh, activity so far. They're staying quite passive. On uh, Magnificent Bastard's part. A logical is picked off. A nice long range shot. Behind or inside the uh, building here. Oh no, the map's just a little bit off. He was behind this uh, wall here. Picked off by DMT from the south. 2v5, make that 1v5 as uh, Zero Fox is picking off trying to rush out. Sri Lanka not going to uh, meet the same fate as he tries to rush onto the objective. Putting out some cover fire. Shots coming from the bungalows. And from the south, and from the west, and from the north. No way to escape that. Legion are going to take this uh, third round. Yeah, third round. They're going to take it and they're going to go home with it. We are likely going to see, never mind, I thought we were going to see some more, uh, a few minutes of whiteboard comms, but apparently not. They're going to get straight into it with a dumpster objective, or East Dumpster objective. And it's going to be a North spawn for Magnificent Bastards. This is uh, probably the worst spawn you can get of any objective of any map. It is very rough, any of these north spawns against south objectives. Oh, that's the wrong player, there we go. Looks like Legion Ace is going to send one up to Twins. It's playing us in the dark room. And Mad Scientist is playing really aggressively, pushing up to the uh, APC. Maybe going to go north bungalow. This is a real aggressive play. Yeah, he's getting to that window. He's going to see uh, Zero Fox's flash through the window. He's lucky. He might be able to take him down as well. But 
no kills coming out yet and they've got uh, two magnificent bastards in that east side trying to flank around or uh, three go towards the west pretty standard attack for this objective zero fox making a really ballsy push out towards the uh, middle of nowhere and gets tagged from the west dumpster pretty long shot they might not know he's been finished off hey, though but mad scientist will do it that's for sure Shots are coming out over towards Twins. And Magnificent Butter does manage to take down Plenus in that two story. But they don't manage to uh, finish him off. Oh, they do finish him off. And they do also finish off uh, Zero Fox and the uh, bungalow, uh, red truck area. And also Sri Lanka, not sure who killed him. It must have been Mad Scientist, judging by that angle. It looks like the main push has now shifted from that west side over towards the south. They've got a uh, relatively clear push until they get to the white building. That's where it's going to start complicating things. Captain is a pre-fire that window is going to be some danger and it does work. Captain gets taken down by the White House. That being Night Fury. Reservoir though, Stereo could get him in theory. Oh, it does look like a... Uh, this has been a drop or a res or something. I don't know, they're just on top of each other. Very, very nearly Captain... Uh, not Captain, Logical was nearly picked off. On that uh, northwest side, he's damaged, still up though. Pretty lucky. Hopefully Captain can uh, try and get this uh, uh, Lodge, uh, Stereo rather get that res off. Yeah, Captain does get res. His body rolled down so he's res from the bottom. Strange bug, but uh, Stereo is uh, going through the valley now. I'm not sure he did manage to finish off uh, Captain as he was resed. He's putting some nice pressure onto that window here. But Night Fury is going to rush out and try and take him down from the outside. He's not expecting it. He's, he's thinking he's still in there. Night Fury takes uh, him out from the uh, outside of the building. He was just absentmindedly staring at his tablet. So Legionnaires are going to take this map. And I wonder what the next one's going to be. I'm going to call Suburbia as a guess. And it looks like it's going to be bizarre instead. Maybe Suburbia's on the list of band maps. Maybe they're picking it for the uh, third map. I'm not sure. Don't know what the bands are. They haven't told me. Uh, desktop audio. We always quickly swap that over there. And this is going to be a map that Legionnaires picked, since they're starting off on Marsoc. Starting off with the centre objective, that's pretty rough here, for the, uh, full of magnificent bastards. Could he set up some cameras? Very, very rough camera setting as quickly as possible. I've received a message from my uh, cameraman here. Asking if I'm still casting. I of course still am. Apparently can't hear me. I think so I have my mic muted in Discord. I will unmute it quickly. Just quickly uh, helping him hear me here. 
So we're going to start off with Legionnaires, of course, on the attack as they pick Bazaar. And Magnificent Bastards on the defence. Uh, they're expecting flank is here, probably a wise decision coming from uh, Magnificent Bastards. Uh, what, uh, Legionnaires, rather. A Night Fury, I think that's a smoke, possibly a nade. No, it's a smoke. Not sure what happened to it, it appears to have. <laughs> that uh, the smoke went directly up onto the roof, directly on the corner. Very unlucky. That's the trouble with uh, underhands. They're always risky. Oh, really close to Night Fury there. That nade landing right next to him, just on the other side of the bollards. We might see some conflict here from uh, Kittermittens. Or maybe not, because Night, uh, Night Fury goes down first. Getting picked off by Zero Fox from this little tight angle. I'm impressed you could see him, really. He must have just seen his uh, feet crawling across the map, as Legionnaires do usually play. Just some, uh, I believe that's preemptive shots coming from Zero Fox. Kitten's going to be hunting him now, but you might not expect Sri Lankan. Oh, rough mic popping here from Kitten Mittens. Sri Lankan knows where Kitten Mittens is, but he might have thought it's uh, Zero Fox. It's a possibility. He's going to be trying to look for someone in that west courtyard, but he's not going to find anyone. Shots coming up from the southeast over towards the objective. Not sure who they were aimed at, but they hit pretty close uh, to the uh, objective. Ketman is still playing just passively. He's really scared to try and push out here. And we are going to see some conflict on this other side uh, for DMT and Stereo. Stereo doing a hover game. DMT's probably heard his mic popping or just him shifting about. But I'm not sure he's going to expect uh, him levitating. Prone. I wonder if Sarah's going to try and pop up and take him down. I'm not sure if he'll risk it. They are still right on top of each other over in this west courtyard. Get admittance and Sri Lankan. Yeah, Stereo does finally peek and takes down DMT through the window, but his return and his uh, revenge kill by Plenus. Zero Fox also turns the fire over towards uh, the east, taken down by Kittermittens. Shrunker then goes and takes down Kittermittens. No action, then suddenly it's all at once. We are going to see this rotation from the southeast over towards the center market. Leave the hole that uh, Night Fury created. And he uh, almost was taken down from the uh, west there by Sri Lankan. Never mind, Sri Lankan went all the way to the southwest. Not Sri Lankan, I'm not sure who that was. That must have been Captain doing a flank. They were expecting that, that's for sure, at the start of the round. But they just weren't expecting it uh, on the west side. But he's taken down. And along with uh, Captain, whatever his name is, let's see. Plainness. Plainness is taken down by Logical. It's all up to uh, Mad Scientist on his own now. 1v2. I have my... Uh, Co-cast, not co-cast, the cameraman in here now, trying to get some uh, practice in. So now, hopefully, if anyone's watching the uh, footage back on his side, he'll be uh, more coordinated now that he can actually hear what I'm looking at. So Mad Scientist just running through the uh, east side street here, trying to get up to the uh, 
he's courtyard moving into the building, he's trying to get on the stairs, trying to pick off someone on the second floor maybe. But he doesn't have long left, only 65 seconds. He's desperately going to be trying to uh, beat the clock here. Sri Lankan and Logical should know that they just need to sit back, relax, make sure they can't cap. But I'm not sure they're going to be uh, that patient. Because Logical does appear to be pushing that uh, east street. Or the north east street rather. Just as bad scientist is doing, he's flipping back to that north east side. He's going to see logical on the north road, maybe. No. He's hiding just behind that wall, behind the pallets. A very good position if uh, picking someone off, crossing to the objective. Or at the very least, spotting them, and there you go. He tries to come out, gets taken down. And it's a bastard to take this first round. Just quickly add that there. And we are going to see a uh, objective is this. Oh, we're only on the uh, second round apparently. My memory is not too good. So of course it's going to be the same objective with this time. Magnificent Bastards on the offence. And the pistol lobby is bugged out again. Everyone has their uh, ready and death symbols on them. Worrying. Should never stop a count while it's in the middle of happening on the current patch. Doesn't end well. They are going to be starting up uh, again and cancelling it. Second time. This is not great. I see what's happening in the chat. And we're going to kill anybody that comes down here, and then we're going to move right on in cap right there. That goes through team chat. I'm not a fan of that, so I don't want to use it. So it appears they're just going over some uh, team discussions before the uh, round begins. Yeah, the round looks like it's going to be starting for real this time. Let's see what the plan is from uh, Legionnaires here. Alrighty! Actually, mm, I really want to rush down that way. Maybe not, maybe not. But maybe. Let's just no, play I'd tight D, dude. Let's just yeah, play tight I'd leave, D. I'd leave. Legionnaires does not want to cap. So they're going to play nice and tight as much as it goes against their uh, onward nature. We are going to three, see three pushing up this east side. Possibly going to have a tango with uh, Plinius lying down by the stairs maybe? No, he's on top of the stairs. It's an interesting position, maybe let's swap back. And yeah, he does pierce, he's uh, on the bottom of the stairs now. He's going to take down Zero Fox here. And he does take him down, levitating in the air. Cameraman, if you ever want to see what I'm seeing, just hit one and uh, should be on my perspective as long as I've set it recently. But logical and uh, Captain here clearly quite apprehensive to go in after Zero Fox's body. I don't want to meet the same fate. And uh, I believe Magnuson Bosses could slip in from the uh, north here. Just sneaking in through this building, as long as there's a distraction just over here, allowing the uh, this guy to look over towards the east side instead of uh, that little north street area. They could slip right in. But logically, it's going to go after Zero Fox there. Plainness been pretty much invisible in that corner. No way Logical is going to be able to see him. And mind he does, just he gets into the bright part. Tries to take some shots, they don't hit though. 
gonna peek around. Try a bit logical. Logical, however, Resbo. You got a headshot onto Platus. Unfortunately, not a headshot for Platus. Only for logical. We've seen a pretty slow. Uh, I have no cameras on that side. Damn. We've seen a pretty slow push from the uh, Melissa Bartles on this West Street here. And I believe there was another kill just in that uh, east side here, make it 3v4. Pretty advantageous for uh, Menace and Bastards here. Nice, yeah, and I failed smoke onto that uh, little veranda. Oh, I had a sneaky suspicion the second I heard it. But DMT and uh, Kittimit to make sure there's no capping going on today. Pretty much side by side, only separated by a wall. Because you can only cap from uh, this corner here, this corner here, this corner here, and that corner here. So they're making sure that no one's going to get there. Logical is going to be pushing in from this north side. Still being really slow on that west side with the uh, captain. Captain Stero Sri Lankan. Shots coming out from uh, Captain though over towards the objective. I don't think they hit anybody though. No, they don't. And the uh, Legionnaire there on the uh, west side has fell back over towards the objective. And he does manage to trade with logical as he tries to push in. They're going to get that res off though, I imagine. A team kill from Kitten Missions onto Night Fury. This has turned tables. This is not good for Legionnaires. He's going to go with the res on DMT though. He gets that res off. Slightly redeeming himself for uh, what he's done. But I'm surprised the uh, Magnificent Bastard didn't capitalise on that. That was a hell of an opportunity to push in. But Shrank and Stereo are still taking it nice and slowly. Maybe they'll be able to get a cab but not if DMT rush around the corner, but he gets taken down anyway. Stereo is going to try and push him from the north. Probably going to get taken around as he tries to go for the objective. Or Kitten's going to hear him and rush around. Yeah, it looks like he's going to rush around with tablet hand taken down. Kitten mittens. The last line of defense. Shrank to go for the objective. Right out in the open, it's taken down. At least the thought is there for that cap. The tables have turned yet again massively in Legionnaire's favour. Captain versus Kitten Mittens. This is a very tense situation. Kitten Mittens is going to be really aggressive here. Peek around this corner. Captain Tablet in hand caught his pants down. He rushes out back to the north trying to escape. Prepare himself a little more. He's actually going around the other side onto the objective and going upstairs. This is an interesting game of cat and mouse. Gittermittens is confused. Very confused. Captain whiffs his shot onto Gittermittens. He almost gets him. Captain's dropping his gun. I'm fairly sure he's drunk. They're not so great for magnificent bastards. Gittermittens looting his friend's body. What a vulture. But there's 20 seconds left. I'm not sure if Captain realises that. He does not have time to be sitting around like this. He drops his gun, takes out another gun, not sure where he was storing that. Comes around the corner and trades. Magnificent Bastard does take that round. That was a... Uh, an unpredictable round. I wasn't sure it was going to win right, to, uh, right up until that trade there. It was massively in favour of uh, Legionnaires to start with being a 4 or 5 straight off the bat. Then again in favour of Magnificent Bastards as they take down 2 on the east. And again with a team kill onto, uh, I believe it was Plenus on the west side. But it doesn't matter if the tables turn, but eventually they uh, overwhelmingly turn into Magnificent Bastards' favour with that trade. And they take that map, uh, that round rather. Flash you the scoreboard there. 
so you're aware of what uh, happened during the previous match. The uh, I believe it was the first round, maybe first two rounds of downfall work for v5, as uh, Stereo was having some tech issues. It appeared to be fixed now though, so all is good. And this round is going to be starting. This is the uh, third round. Magnificent Bastards could pull a head here by a massive amount if they just take this uh, defense round. Let's see what they're thinking. Keep my tablet out here and I'm just going to watch and listen for the guy to come sneak up here. All right, I'm going to be second floor left you know, side. Okay, I'll just. Everyone on. No, let's not get capped on, man. I won't go. I won't let's go. Not get on, I'll that's stay, I'll... It seems that they do not want a. Uh, come back here from Legionnaires, they want to take this round or just uh, make sure they only get one point. They don't want to risk a two pointer. It's going to keep it nice and tight apparently according to what uh, Sri Lankan was saying. And this is a rather east stacked defence. It does manage to cross. Mad scientist very angry with himself. And shots are coming out on that east side from Captain. No logical. And managed to Logical man manages to uh, take down DMT on that west side. Nice pick from him. Bad scientist also almost getting taken down. Rushing, trying to take down Logical. Perhaps getting provoked a little bit. Could end quite badly. Hey, we'll just cross to the south. Logical sees uh, across from Night Fury. Bad scientist isn't seen by uh, Logical apparently, but Zero Fox does get that revenge kill onto Mad Scientist. Pull up to play this kit in the Night Fury. Play this is rushing straight for the objective. Only Stereo is going to see him. Stereo didn't see him. He's on top of the objective. He could cap if not for Sri Lankan in the south here. Please returns fire. Doesn't hear anything. He is damaged though. Zero Fox going on to the objective. Trade with uh, Plenus. Redsable, however. Stereo might try and go for it. He probably should. Ketabed is still keeping really far back. And Night Fury does manage to tag uh, Sri Lankan from the south. That's a very valuable pick, and that was a silencer as well. They might not realise he's here. In theory, he could cap from behind here. Could be another big turn of events. Four minutes left on the clock, there's plenty of time, he's popping off shots, clearly not going for stealth. They also take down two on the objective. And pretty much every member has turned to look over towards that south side. This could be good for uh, Kittermittens coming in from the northwest. Zero Fox is going to be pretty aggressive moving to that shed, I don't think Night Fury is going to expect it. Zero Fox is going to peek it. He sees. Uh, he sees Night Fury. Not Night Fury. It was Night Fury, actually. And the captain manages to take down Kittermittens from the northeast. Taking down two of them in just a short period of time. Nice and clean for Magnificent Bastards taking the uh, Bizarre 3 0 so far. Doing very well. Really on neither side, or uh, is anyone particularly leading the team here? Quite balanced. Maybe logical in Zero Fox pulling ahead just by a little bit. It appears that uh, Legionnaire is having some issues with uh, confirming their kills. Magnificent Bastards getting off uh, round three with three different heals from three different people. That always hurts. I wonder how uh, Magnificent Bastards is going to be attacking this after seeing what happened last round from Legionnaires. I appears they paused it again, that's probably not a wise idea. Lots of issues are always created.
captain is just uh, unready, maybe trying to change his loadout. It appears Zero Fox did also change his loadout, which he doesn't have a skull by his name, along with Stereo. So maybe they were just changing up loadouts, forgot to do it. Possible with these uh, new loadout changes, you can only have one of each loadout slot instead of uh, unlimited as before, and in uh, public lobbies. Let's see what uh, Legion is thinking. We've done worse before, let's just fucking right, do this. upstairs here, kittens, if you lay down, okay. if you lay down up there and look at under that grate and just watch to the east. Okay. Works really well. Legionnaires, try not to be phased by the uh, 3-0 so far. Gonna try and bring it back here. Try and get back to the, uh, their flow. Get back into the swing of things. Get back into their rhythm, you might say. Yeah, Mad Scientist does the uh, one cross over towards Tank. Trying to see another as well, but he picks just, just at the wrong time. Yeah, Mad Scientist picked just at the, uh, just at the uh, wrong time to be able to see the other two cross. So they might underestimate this uh, southeast threat. Yeah, Stereo's going to be moving in from the southeast courtyard. Well, it appears uh, Captain is going to be moving in from the south wall. Be pretty slow here, perhaps expecting someone in the two story of which the nobody's there. But I've actually, uh, Night Fury holding position, holding position I have not seen before on top of this roof. People occasionally take the stairs, but I've never seen the roof. Risky position. We might see some quick action here from Plinius rushing up, very aggressive, right against logical. Lots of smoke on the objective. Plinus might get nervous. Lodge was going to hear Plinus any second now. Plinus rushes back to the objective. He's got his back turned to Logical. This could end badly. Chance coming out onto the objective. Magnificent Bastards going down in the south. Still two others to take his place. They're not sure what this guy's doing all the way in the southeast, but maybe he's just looking for someone rushing the south wall. But I'm not sure. Seems like a bad decision. Yeah, Logical does get taken down by Plinus. His stomping is heard by Plinus, and he just spins around and takes him down. He almost kills himself with his own grenade as well. Plinus is trying desperately to get to a ward off Zero Fuck so he can move to a better position. Another Magnificent Bastard going down on the uh, northeast objective. I missed that. All up to Sri Lanka and Zero Fox now. Oop, that is the wrong button. And it's bugged out again, help. Alright. So we are going to have all this south side a very virulent, uh, virulent, strange word, watcher on the south here. Tablet just by his left hand. So he can pick it up if needed. He's going to be watching over this entire south side, really. If he peeks up, he could see Sri Lanka moving along the wall. But I think Sri Lanka's going to see him as well if he stands up, getting silhouetted. Just looking around at that uh, main street area. Not really wanting to... Uh, be too adventurous, two minutes remaining. And at some point, uh, Zero Fox did cross, he takes down Night Fury on top of the roof, whiffs his shots. The MT's going to be pretty nervous watching this west side now. He could show up in any one of these buildings on the southwest. Case Prince as well dropping back, not able to see uh, Sri Lanka anymore. Just going to be hunting for him now. 
There, Fox does try and get a pre fire shot off, and he's going to pick around that corner, takes it down Kitten Mittens. Very nice play for that LMG. Going 5 and 2 now, taking a pretty clear lead. Along with Logical. It's not down, he's not dead rather, he's only down. And Sri Lanka's going to be pushing in from the south as well. DMT Mode is going to be, uh, might peak this window takedown. Sri Lanka, and there he goes. It's all up to Zero Fox now, he's going to get taken down by Plenus from the two story. Please, they're celebrating. You can hear DMT screen across the map. Clearly happy that uh, that they've broken their rhythm now, getting back off uh, the Magnificent Bastards train, get back onto the Legionnaires train. Try and show what they did in Downfall a bit more. Since they're on uh, Marsork here, they might be able to pull off a cab and see what objective it is. It's West Market, that's not the best one for a cab, but it's still possible. They just get into this building here, or just to these pallets. And if some boss is going to have a very bad day, the match might end uh, just this map. And they might also uh, just prolong the match normally, going for those uh, reliable one pointers rather than the risky two pointers. And they've paused it again, it's going to cause issues. It's too risky. And the round is starting. Not sure when on there, everyone's perspective was frozen. Uh, frozen. That's strange. Let's think, uh, see what many of the bosses are thinking. You're going up there? Uh, then I'll come, then I'll push into objective then, I guess. Two of you, okay, because, all right. We need right side. I'd rather be on the other side of the street. I'm going to watch it from this I side, thought, guys. Yeah, if you're... yeah, stay there, stay there. Okay, what the fuck? Boss is not happy about something, not sure what. Clearly just making up their positioning on the fly due to having a uh, reservist. One of their players seemingly not able to make it. I'm going to just be watching this North Street from the dumpster, pretty strong position. Especially with uh, Logical backing up the West Courtyard here from the pallets. I thought he might be just in that little uh, nook and cranny there, but apparently not. Just going to look for that window, pretty risky, playing pretty aggressive. Mike went from the, uh, like push out of the West Courtyard, try and nab someone crossing the road. That would be very risky. Got Dark coming out towards Center Street, one going down on Legionnaire's side from Logical and also uh, Captain, I believe. No, Xerofox given with that LMG, we're doing some real work. Logical decided to fall back after getting a uh, kill on that pick. Gotta keep watch over this West Courtyard some more. And another one actually went down on the uh, West Street from Xerofox, he's really putting some work here. And if some bosses might take this, but you never know, especially with that uh, first map. They uh, managed to take it all the way back from uh, 3 to 5, bringing it down to a uh, 1v1. And one of those kills was a team kill, so pretty uh, luckily the tables were turned several times before we actually see the outcome. Looks like we are going to see Plena smoke out the dumpster and try and move up this north side, but it's going to be risky. Peek around here. Someone in the windows, the empty's down. Nice work from, uh, I believe that's logical. Oh, it's stereo, maybe. I don't know, it's somebody. Who is that? It's Captain. There you go. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for the res on Plena. There you go, never mind, he has. The empty's up again. Res on DMT, rather. Plena is still up. Nice shots coming out from DMT beneath the uh, pallet here, taking down Captain through the window. But Schwanken is going to take him off as soon as they peek this corner here. DMT down, Plane is also down from a real nice nade from Sri Lankan. Fantastic grenade, not sure if Sri Lankan knows that actually worked though. Maybe he thought there's only uh, one guy there. 
I don't think they can uh, rotate for this kill. Never mind, they might be able to. Kittimitans takes down Logical. Oh, Stereo does get uh, a shot onto Kittimitans. Damages him. Not down, though. Oh, to Kittimitans. And he is down. Magnificent Bastards take Bazaar. Quite a uh, change in the. Uh, Kind of performance from uh, the initial downfall map. Quickly edit all of this score. There we go. Oop, scoreboard, there you go. Yeah, starting off on that 4 1 for uh, Legionnaires and flipping back straight to a 4 1 for Magnificent Bastards. This last map's going to be a toss up and it's going to be on Suburbia. I believe quarantine one and uh, maybe cargo oh, were banned. I believe those two tier, those two maps might be the ones that were banned. Conjecture at this point though. Almost typed a Marsock into the Manisa uh, Bastards team there. I'll have to quickly alter the scores yet again. Change them to zero. Open for a fix as soon as possible. It is confusing to say the least to juggle, switching scenes, switching uh, numbers around after every round. It's rough. I've got to do it in OBS and in a scoreboard system. But at least now we are ready in this match. It's going to start off with a garage objective here. Nice uh, initial defense for Legionnaires. Well, initial defense position for Legionnaires. They should be able to pull this off pretty uh, nice and easy. We can set up some cameras yet again. Flash this one last time. I've slapped camera 4 into the uh, center hotel if you want to use that. Too old. There we go, cameras are all set up, we are ready to uh, get into this game now. Just waiting on the players. There you go, the players are ready. Let's see what uh, Magnificent Bastards are thinking going into this uh, first round. Seems mad scientists it's AFK at the start of the round. Yeah, he's put his heads up back on now and his uh, legionnaires are completely abandoning the spawn house. Yeah, it seems they're keeping two in the uh, guard, one Night Fury and DMT. Just sitting behind those bushes and uh, concrete walls. They seem to have an attraction to the Tar 21. Personally, not a fan of it. It's weirdly, uh, weirdly designed. The captain could have taken down Plenus there, but he must have been in the smoke and not the smoke. Yeah, that would have been a hard spot for Captain through the smoke. And captain is going to be rushing up here, going to get taken down by Plenus the second he picks his feet around. Captain's apprehensive, taking it very slow, not good for Captain. Captain gets taken down by Plenus. Through the typical Legionnaire's crouch, and he really belts that nade up into the sky. Might take down Stereo, takes down Stereo with the nade. Another nade comes over to the centre house, staying central here. Plenus pretty glad he managed to take down two, only a minute into the round on that west side. But Sri Lanka and Zero Fox are going to be gunning for Plenus now. Really checking the Discord, make sure there are no issues. Appears to be good though. Plenus, if he just pops his head over, he's going to uh, take down Zero Fox. Zero Fox is making some serious noise, sneaking up to this ball out here, playing about with his gun and everything. Plenus, apparently seen by Zero Fox, he throws a flash out, it's effective, he's blind, he turns away, 
shot in the back of the head by Plenus. Plenus put in some serious work this map. All up to Sri Lankan logical opposing sides of the map. Uh, of the map. Apparently DMT went down at some point, not sure who by. Possibly Captain, you know, just as he died. Mad scientist went down from logical, really nice shot. That's a serious boon for uh, magnificent bastards considering the odds are stacked against them. Sri Lanka's for a nade, please is aware of this now. And he's gonna be rushing it, Sri Lanka doesn't hear him. Or maybe he does hear him, not sure what happened there, he just fell down. Sri Lankan's gun flew off to the uh, open here. That was uh, confusing to say the least, someone's going to have to clip that, I'm not sure what happens. Oh, Sri Lankan is taken down by Gittim and he's from the centre house though. The logical is pushed up the tank and taken down by Night Fury. That was a strange round. We're going to have to add the uh, one to Legionnaires manually. There we go. Plane is putting some serious work that round. Taking down three on that west side all by itself. Though at the sacrifice of uh, DMT and the gun. It's a mission's unreadying for some reason, just as the round starts. But he's readied up again, should be good to go. This might be a uh, two hour long match here, pretty surprising. I thought it might be uh, over more quickly, but the teams are quite evenly matched, going uh, clearly to their strength. Magnificent Mars not doing well on downfall, but then coming out straight out of the gate, guns are blazing to uh, Bizarre, taking it 4 1. Is that uh, there must be some whiteboard discussion going on? Possibly, uh, what's uh, going on? Maybe some tech issues. Maybe, well, you don't know. I don't hop into uh, comms just in case they are talking tactics, but it appears around starting anyway. So clearly, nothing major. Let's see what Legion is thinking. The right side. I might go left. No, all right. If two people are going left, Night Gear, where are you going? I'll go wherever you want me to go, Pop. You go wherever you want to go, buddy boy. I'll go I'm your daddy, right. Night Fury. Don't you tell Plenus Pops. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pops. I never want to hear that chatter again. That is disturbing. But we are going to see two hanging back further than uh, Legionnaires. Legionnaires defense last round with uh, Stereo and Zero Fox in quite an exposed position. Stereo open to nading and Zero Fox can get wall banned. Early shots coming out and Sri Lankan is taken down through the window. It's always dangerous to pick that window. I never risk it. Never. The captain is playing a risky game. If his uh, belt peeks through that win uh, that door rather, door, that wall rather, he's going to be in for a bad time. And smokes are coming out on that west side as Plenus and uh, Night Fury DMT push out that lane 1 and 2. Shots coming out, Plenus taken down by Logical through the fence. Very nice, finishing him off as well. I wonder if Night Fury's going to risk peeking that. Oh, I sure as hell wouldn't. Oh, like Logical might have gone tagged there, apparently not. DMT could see Captain here if he just looks to his uh, back left there. Captain apparently doesn't hear DMT stomping about to his right, like pulling out nades. I don't think Mad Scientist is going to expect this. Captain put, puts off the shots over to DMT, takes it down. Mad Scientist takes uh, Captain out as he rushes in. Very poorly timed. He just looked around, uh, taking him down a second earlier. He could have got Mad Scientist too. Logical down, I believe, that the uh, Silver Car, yeah, he tried to move back. Taken down, he's got very good vision though. This is going to be bad for the uh, Legionnaires. Stereo also down. That must have been thanks to a uh, mad scientist's work. 
and zero fucks are battling the objective, they could get the cap here. They just push up lane one, not sure what the plan is for zero fucks here. This is very risky. He's gonna get caught by Nightfire in just, uh, Night Fury in just a second. He's doing a full flank along this bush. He's trying to stealth his way up desperately. And he does manage to take down Kitten Mittens and tries to go for Mad Scientist. He sprays the door, no effect. I'm surprised they haven't called out for a cap yet. They could take uh, a 3-0 here. The other fact also takes out Mad Scientist with a flank. This is much more effective than I was thinking it was going to be. Uh, it appears that Stereo bled out. So it's just up to Kitten Mittens and Zero Fucks. Maybe logical. I don't know. It'd be risky. Looks like he might be a vulture and steal some gear. Yeah, he's stealing some smoke, trying to throw it to center uh, center house. I imagine. Throws it onto the balcony. Will it roll down? Uh, it won't. It's going to be effective. How well is this push-up going to work? Fox just sees him on the corner. Kitten Mittens is staying back. He's not wanting to get picked off. Oh, very risky. He pre fires that he can't see through the smoke. Zero Fox is moving around. And they trade, and the, uh, the round goes to Magnificent Bastards. Damn, I thought uh, Legends might be able to take that there. Zero Fox really pushing in an enormous amount of work there doing that. Uh, I believe it was 4v1. Real nice plays. Picking up uh, four kills, I think that was all of his kills just in that round alone. Real good for Magnus and Bastards to make it this 1 1. I'm glad you clipped that, Smithy. That was a strange death from playing this walking around that corner. And then just suddenly falling to his feet, dead. Maybe he bled out. I don't think he could. I think the uh, bleed out time would have lasted like 30 seconds longer. Also clicked by Zarek. <laughs> Unfortunately too slow. Maybe we can uh, watch that clip back. Let's just see if I have the setup for it. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. I can show it to you next round, that's for sure. We are okay, going to be fine. starting off here. Oh dear, that's the auto blade. Let's very quickly get into this right. It's going to be a tank objective here, possible for a Kappa from Magnificent Bastards here, making it 3 1 if they can get it. Not confident they'll be able to though. I expect Legionnaire's defense to be pretty solid. Yeah, business heading two to the center house, one to the burning building, and two staying back in the spawn house and the garden. Let's see what stereo is saying. Getting a nice angle underneath that Humvee. John's coming out from logical over towards the uh, wood there, trying to get a pick. Unfortunately, not working out. It's going to be really dangerous peak in this corner. It looks like there is a trade between Magnificent Buzz and Legionnaires. Oh, wrong buttons. Pinnies and Zero Fox both going down. Stars of both teams this uh, match, it seems, have gone down already. It's dangerous. Are they going to expect Night Fury to be sitting there? Are they going to pre nade it? Are they going to pre fire it? What are they going to do? I have a feeling they're going to pre fire it, but Night Fury is going to pre fire them as well. Peek out just before they uh, go for it. 
the empty base attack logical just over the bush very nice finishing him off making it 2v4 not sure who else went down Sri Lankan apparently went down just behind Zero Fox just there Nipty pushes up takes down Stereo the entire playground now open just up to uh, Captain here who I believe is drunk so this may not go well may to take down Mad Scientist but he does take a hit to the uh, lower chest possibly the legs be looking for those uh, picks now. One v three. I'm not uh, convinced he can pull this off, but I wasn't sure that uh, there are possibly pull off that four v one either. And he does take down DMT captain, really making his chances uh, of taking this round significantly higher here, beyond my expectations. Titamus is making sure that uh, he's not going to sneak up this east side. I think he's going to peek this window over towards the APC, get a nice uh, sight line on it. That's exactly what he's doing. Pretty spooked by the thought of Captain coming up lane one. Night Fury actually getting taken up by Captain. Really nice long range shot through the fence. Captain also knows Kitterman is there. We're going to see a really close range engagement right here. Unfortunately, Captain goes down. Legionnaires does take uh, do take that round despite Captain's best efforts. Very close for a uh, magnificent bastards there, almost pulling that off. It's a little bit of pre-fire, going a little bit slower, a little bit faster. You never know what could happen. And we should hopefully have time now. If I quickly pull up the clip that I am very slow at currently finding. Uh, there it is. And if we quickly pull up this, we add a browser capture. It's the wrong thing. No, I'm ruining the cast. What am I doing? You guys quickly see this. Sri Lanka's throwing nades, please. He's aware of this won't, now. Won't miss anything good. And he's going to be rushing it. Sri Lanka doesn't hear him. And he's going to be rushing it. Sri Lanka doesn't hear him. Or maybe I believe he, he might have uh, shot his hand just as so he pushed in. I haven't seen that in a while. At least not, especially not with an AK. There's a very large moth next to me. I might have to kill it or find somewhere to get it out. But anyway, this time it's going to be another tank objective with a uh, host of bastards stacking this building. And Mad Scientist already down for a very nice pre fire from, uh, I believe that was Captain. Yeah, it might have been logical actually, I'm not sure. But they, I wonder if they'll be able to uh, actually confirm that kill with a nice nade. Maybe also down Night Fury, but no, it seems they're going to give that up. Play it safe. There are going to be shots coming out from Captain, taking down one on that lane one. Captain could do some serious damage here from this flank. Not a fan of her first person perspective, it's kind of uh, janky. Shots are coming out towards the black car. Logical goes down from Mad Scientist to get revenge here. Mad Scientist blown up by a nade from Logical, I believe. Maybe stereo and Captain and DMT right next to each other. Captain in a real nice position to uh, take him down. Captain's gonna hear DMT breathing and stopping over behind him. Yeah, he's heard him, he's turned around, but he can't give up the uh, back center house either. He does go around, Captain takes him down, putting in a lot more work as well. Legionnaires, this round is not looking like it's going to be a uh, one for them. I'm sure in Kittimitz are going to be sitting on this burning and uh, 
Humvee here. Pushing up this west side is going to be real risky, even with uh, Zero Fucks down just by the bush. And then might another pick onto uh, Stereo trying to loot things off uh, Logical, I believe. Not entirely sure. Galankin still just sitting in that uh, Center House objective. Center House two story, rather. Camera, are you okay? Right, there we go. You might be able to see uh, Kittenman's here behind the box. I'm not sure of the uh, exact sight lines. Tree, that tree possibly blocked his view. And Zero Fox is going to be handing out all the info he can uh, give out. Let's see if he's doing that. Yeah, it appears not. He's mostly silent. That could be a mistake unless I've just uh, missed it. Tuning in too early or too late. And Captain's going to be doing his flanking work. Taking down Night Fury in the playgrounds. Kitchen is very nervous now. Trying to go for that res, probably. He gets the res off. Night Fury almost killed by Kitchen But Kitchen does get that uh, headshot onto. Well, body shot onto Captain and finishing him off. I was scared uh, Kitchen's going to pop off a quick shot. And shoot Night Fury in the head as he ran past. Luckily not. But the tides have turned massively for Magnificent uh, for Legionnaires now. They take the rounds. Captain's flank getting rezzed and then getting finished off. Zero Fox never being revived and uh, Stereo just getting picked off out in the open. Not the best of plays today. Going to beat the 3 1 to uh, Legionnaires now. Start off this round pretty quick, no turnabout. They will, uh, maybe they know what they're doing, maybe they just want to get this round over with, get this last uh, map out of the way. But let's see what uh, Bones and Boss is thinking, how they're going to try and come back. Maybe we can claw it back, we can claw it back. Come on, boys. Fuck this shit. Take it. I'm going to rush uh, middle house. You're going to tank it, Sri Lankan. Thanks, Mike. Is they're handing out nades or something to each other. Maybe Sri Lanka's going to nade the uh, j uh, tank rather. I didn't even notice it is a garage objective. Really looking good for Legionnaires so far. Lots of smokes already coming out onto the uh, center house along with a nade. Sri Lanka's got a nade on his body currently with a pin and spoon off. He's a walking smoke screen. And he is taking down my mad scientist on the first floor. Trying to go to his camera a bit too late though. Nade almost takes down Captain on that right side. We are going to see a pretty aggressive push on this left side here. Over towards Night Fury. From Stereo. Going prone just around the corner. Almost seeing Night Fury and almost getting caught by Night Fury. Night Fury sneaking up around the corner. He's not going to expect this. He doesn't expect it and it's taken down by Night Fury. Intermittence. I don't think he's going to pick that window, Captain. That might be a waste of time waiting for him. It looks like Night Fury might have some uh, issues with uh, Logical coming up from the behind again. Hopefully, uh, pre is uh, Logical coming around the corner instead of peeking it. It's pretty dangerous, especially with uh, the info that Logical now has about Kit and Mitten's position. Captain's going to be looking through these bushes, looking for a nice pick of someone, but it's taking out my mad scientist through the window. Looking at just the right time through that window, mad scientist. Very nice. Shots are coming out on that west side as uh, Logical, I believe, goes down. Yeah, it goes down, but trade with Night Fury. 2v4, not as good for Magnificent Bars. The shots coming out on that west side, taking down Logical. So Logical must have taken down Night Fury as, uh... Since he peaked the corner, that's a strange decision, but... It cost him his life. 
It looks like Zero Fox is going to go for a res on logical now around, uh, around that east side rather, not west, east. Zero Fox is going to be sneaking up now with that uh, syringe in hand. I'm not sure they're going to be able to uh, finish off Mad Scientist. They might not realise, they might be distracted. And the blade does come out really close, please is going to try and peek this. He's already run out of a grenade. And they're going to fall back. I believe that is a very smart move in this situation. Please go to peak that. Almost taken down by zero fucks. They need to finish off Mad Scientist here. Oh, please almost get taken down for a second time by zero fucks with that LMG. He's putting in some serious work. I believe he has to take off his helmet. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the maps are merging together in my mind. I'm not sure which is which. It's gotten probably about 15 kills this match pretty nice leading the kills in a uh, every uh, map I think so far maybe except the first not sure I'll have to check and he's almost taken up my DMT from the gun he's got to pre-fire this or he's not gonna make it he does manage to headshot DMT from the bush Ketamis is looking for him though maybe Ketamis is gonna have a nade and take him down but Zero Fox is gonna be ready for him He's going to be waiting for him to peek out that window. And shots are coming out. Logical goes down but trades. And Zero Fox also goes down. The uh, map. The match and the map go to Legionnaires. Just hear the teams congratulate each other on the win. Thanks, Those guys. are some intense ass fucking matches, boys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright. <laughs> GG's, guys. Um, Alright. And that is going to be the uh, match for today. So we started off with a uh, pretty brutal 1-4 against the Magnificent Bastards on downfall going towards Legionnaires and maybe they slipped up, maybe they got complacent, I'm not sure, but they uh, ended up losing brutally to Magnificent Bastards, the team they just dominated on uh, Bazaar. Really one-sided and uh, they come out again with Suburbia on the third round, uh, the third map coming up with that 1-4. Some really nice plays of uh, Magnificent Bastards. The one form maybe not very uh, representative of how things actually worked out. It was really one-sided. Not really. It was uh, really one-sided on downfall. But for Suburbia, it was a lot closer. It came down to uh, 1v1s or 1v2s on probably half, maybe a little over half the rounds. But anyway, this has been uh, the Magnificent Bastards versus Legionnaires match. Legionnaires has won 2-1. to one. And I believe it's a total of uh, 9 to 6. Yeah, it's 9 to 6 to Legionnaires. So it's quite a close match overall. Not just on uh, specific maps. But anyway, I've got 3 over to a uh, league bump, and then we will uh, have to say goodnight to you guys. I believe the uh, G Men match might still be going on. I'm not sure. I don't think it is. We have been going on for a while 2 hours, 6 minutes. So I think it ended a while ago. But anyway, there are more matches uh, tomorrow. Let's just double check that. I'm not actually certain that that is true. Could be true. Let's take a look here. Yeah, just tomorrow, Sunday at uh, 7 p.m. BST, 6 p.m. UTC. There is going to be uh, Vikings vs. Big Red 1 cast by me and Nightfire. So uh, make sure to tune in for that and we will uh, see you guys another time. Goodbye. Looking to get into competitive virtual reality gaming? Register and compete for free at VRMasterLeague.com. Join hundreds of community members in the official Discord where you can find a team, discuss a game, and more. Every week, teams from across the globe play for the chance to participate in the end of season championship tournament for prizes from league sponsors, ProTube VR, and VR Cover. Think you got what it takes? Join VR Master League and find out. Sickness getting dangerously close to objective though. He is going for the plant. Operator taking shots, they know he's okay. back by the objective room. Kino's not, does have no idea if Beasley managed to get past him. This is going to be a 3v3 for beginners. But this is catastrophic Raphael. for Raphael, right? So will defend the hill. Oh to the map. God, he look at down, this. He comes down, kills on him. He's he did it! it. He, oh, he did it! He's getting greedy! He's getting greedy!
Is he gonna get it? He gets it! He gets the knife! A grenade returning for Sir Al, and Sir Al is down! That's how you wow. throw a grenade. You hear someone here. He hears Scooby, he hears Scooby. He got Scooby. Another one coming. Operator, he got operator. Oh! <laughs> that was 